is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak, and this is the video feature race of the week. This week's feature race for Saturday, July 7th is going to be the ninth race from Hollywood Park, the Grade 1 Hollywood Go Cup. Three year olds and up, they're going to be traveling 10 furlongs on cushion track. We have a seven horse field, let's break down the pace scenario. Uh, your favorite in here is going to be Game On Dude, and he's probably going to be the one to catch. He's coming off of an easy win over the, in the local prep for this race. It's going to probably go out to the front if he can control the pace again. It's probably going to be tough to catch. Now he's probably best on, on conventional dirt, and 10 furlongs might not be his best distance, but he can handle this distance. He does come off, come, um, exits a win over the course. Could be tough to catch if he shakes loose early. Of course, we're going to show tactical speed of Richard's kid, of the uncoupled stablemate of Game On Dude, coming off of a mile and three eighths win, returning to the U.S. for trainer Bob Baffert. He's a seven year old now. We'll have to see if he can run to a lake at a shorter distance this time. Uh, Anthony's Cross putting blinkers on, uh, he's likely to press the pace. Uh, he's one uh, that, that could uh, heat up the pace a little bit early if the blinkers uh, get him a little bit more aggressive. And then we have 31st Street breaking from the outside post. He's versatile, but he has shown speed in the past. And then a race without a lot of pace, uh, maybe uh, his rider S1 Flores will get a little bit of a, a little aggressive in this spot. Uh, coming from off the pace, uh, love the way you are, uh, Philly taking on uh, the males in here. Uh, uh, Kettle Corn is another one that's going to be uh, doing his best running in the late going. And then uh, Spud Spivens is another one. He likes Hollywood Park. Coming in off of an optional claiming win, stepping up in class, uh, but he does like the course and he'll be running on late. Now my top choice in here, I'm going to go for a little bit of a price. I don't want to take Game One Dude because he's such an overwhelming favorite. I'm going to take Kettle Corn as my top choice. This one likes Hollywood Park. I think 10 furlongs is going to be a, a benefit. Uh, he had no shot at uh, catching a loose uh, Game One Dude last time when he finished a distant second in the Californian. Uh, maybe the pace scenario will be the same, but I'm hoping either Anthony's Cross or 31st Street or both of those horses can put a little bit of pressure on Game One Dude, the longer distance, a little bit of pace pressure. Maybe, maybe Cattle Corn can get it done. He reunites with Garrett Gomez, who rode him to a graded victory at Hollywood Park last year. Third start off the layoff as well. Uh, maybe he can improve in this spot. Obviously, Game One Dude's the one to catch. Uh, if, if he gets out there and, and runs back to his last race, he's probably the likely winner at very low odds. This is how I'd suggest playing this race. We're going to make a $10 win bet on Kettle Corn, and we're going to play a $30 Quinella using Game One Dude and Kettle Corn, and, and that'll be the $40 wager. Now, if you go over to uh, pick6blog.com, you can see my daily uh, Pick 6 analysis from the Southern California races. Uh, right now, Hollywood Park is running. Uh, they're going to run uh, through next week, uh, July 15th. Uh, next Sunday is their closing day, and then uh, Del Mar will be opening after that on July 18th, and I'll be covering the Del Mar Pick 6 every day as well. So go over to pick6blog.com if you're interested in, in Pick 6 tickets and analysis. And that'll wrap up this week's video race of the week. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. Good luck at the races.